Okay guys, Tom here and welcome back to a very, very important episode of Making Interstellar. Um, I've just noticed that my webcam isn't quite straight, so bear with me. There we go. Right. Um, today we have Bayern Munich in an away game in the Champions League first knockout round, second leg. Before that, we have a little bit to um, recap since the last episode. Now, the last episode we lost 3-1 to Juve and then we beat AC Milan 4-2. And if you look at our form since then... We have been incredible. We've only lost one game, and that was in the uh, Italian Cup. But we've won every single other game we've played, conceding only oh, one, four, three, four, five, about five goals in that space of those games we've won. So let's recap everything here. We'll be very quick because we just want to get into the game. Um, after the AC Milan win, we beat uh, Fiorentina 3-1 away from home. Go two goals from Simone Zaza and a Danilo Cataldi strike, getting us the three points there. We followed that up with a 2 all draw with Atalanta in the cup. Uh, we beat them on penalties. As you can see, we put out our second string team. A little bit disappointing that we had to go to uh, um, all the way to penalties, but we scored all five of ours and they missed their one. So it seems like we're quite a good penalty side. Um, following that up, we reached the centre 3-1, uh, our own goal from Stoyanov, and two goal, two penalties rather, um, from Domenico Berardi getting us the win there. Um, we then demolished Napoli 4-0. Um, we had Costa sent off in this one, um, but Perlo, Zaza, Berardi and Insigne got the goals for us to secure that win. And then we beat Livorno 3-0, goals from Churchy, Ogbonna and Sassone. <laughs> As you can see, we're dominating games at the moment. It's been pretty incredible. Palermo with the next team to fall. Uh, two goals in the first six minutes. One from Bianchetti, one from Berardi. Enough to secure the result for us there. And then our only defeat in this period. We lost 2-1 to Lazio. Put out a slightly rotated side. I still think the side I put out was good enough to win. As you can see, we had more shots more shots on target. Less possession, but we did lose a game. And unfortunately, no Italian Cup this year. Um, but it's 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 not an important competition. We're focusing on the league and the Champions League. We actually went back to Lazio just three days later, and it's the same scoreline, just in the other, just in the opposite favour. We beat them two one. Insigne scoring two goals. Um, Rondon scoring for them. Luca Calderola getting sent off in the 68th minute, but we managed to hold on and secure that win. Now, we then since that game we haven't conceded a goal. And I'll skip the Bayern result, we'll come back to that one at the end. But we beat Genoa 2-0, Churchill and Cataldi getting the goals. We beat Torino 2-0, um, Balotelli scoring 2 on his retur league return from injury. Uh, we then beat Barry 4-0, 2 goals from Berardi, a goal from Balotelli and 1 from Florenzi. And finally, excuse me, a 2-0 victory against Avellino, 2 goals from Simone Zaza. The first time he scored for a little while. Now... 1-0 victory at home against Bayern in the Champions League. As you can see, it's a pretty even game. Um, we got a goal a minute in from Berardi. Um, 20 seconds in, we scored. Balotelli got sent off. A second yellow card for diving in the 42nd minute. And we did manage to, we managed to hold on. And we go to the Allianz Arena with a 1-0 lead and a clean sheet. So no away goal for Bayern. So if we score against them, it changes it makes it very difficult for them. So we have a very good chance of going through here. Although I'm not going to get too optimistic yet. Because we are ravaged by suspensions and injuries at the moment. Which I'll show you in just a moment. After I show you the league table. Um, we've pulled away a little bit. It is still a three horse race between Juve, Roma and ourselves. The um, only thing you've got to really take from that. Is that Roma and Juve have been stuttering recently. Whereas we have stopped conceding goals. So if I show you the senior schedule. As you can see in this period. Um, they've lost. They, Roma lost to Juve. Um, they drew with AC Milan, and they've lost to Napoli. That was enough to put us six points ahead of them. And if we look at Juve's form, um, which isn't as which should be worse, I believe. Uh, yeah, they haven't been great. They drew with Sassuolo. They've lost to Udinese. They have drawn with Sampdoria, and they have lost to Fiorentina. So you know they haven't been great form, whereas we have been in very very good form. So yeah, um, let's get on into the game. We've got to select the team. As you can see, there's no Bianchetti, there's no Costa, there's no Cataldi, there's no Insigne, there's no Balotelli. Um, so most of our team has just been completely wiped out with injuries there. 
We have had a few players come back from injury recently who we will be utilising. Uh, Sassone, Florenzi being two of those. Um, but we're going to have a bit of a makeshift centre-back pairing again, which we had in the first leg. But we've got to just put, figure out how we're going to play this. Similar lineup with the front three here. Um, Sonsone didn't play in that one because he's injured, but Churchy played in the left and Berardi on the right. It was Insigne in the middle that day. And it was actually Balotelli up top for the 40 minutes he did play. Um, we're also going to go with Ranocchio, who's just come back from injury, and he's going to have to be Ogbonna on the left. And we are very, very rapid for injuries, as you can see. Um, Sigurini's coming in here, and we just need one more player. Who gets the nod? Just because he could play on the wings, it's going to have to be. Abate. I know he's not an attacking winger, but we might need to utilise him up front at some point. I don't know. But yeah, big game. Um, quietly optimistic. Hopeful more than anything. But let's get into this and see how we do. Bayern Munich. Oh, even Stevens. If we can win this, you've got to think we may well be able to go on and win the whole thing. But we'll see how we do. They're playing a much more attacking formation than they did in the last game. Last time they played a 4-1-4-1 formation. Um, I'm not sure who Gabriel is. Oh, Gabriel Barbosa. That's He's supposed to be pretty decent, although he hasn't played much for them. Um, yeah, so they only played with one striker and hardly any attacking players. So hopefully we can exploit these, get in, exploit in between Lama and Alaba. But we'll wait and see. Let's pick off where you left off lads, I don't want to really um, play into the underdog thing too much because this is a very tough place to come and we're going to try and control the game <laughs> with an in injury ravaged side so let's hope that for once an important game on the live com <sighs> we won't get absolutely annihilated so Santon here played it back to Perlo, to Florenzi he's in some space, he lost it to Boateng and they're going to look to break here with Lewandowski. There's a lot of space in the middle there. Muller, Perrin saves. Early warning signs there. And that's enough for me to realise we may well just want to do what we did last game after we scored and go counter and uh, direct. Because we're not going to control position. And Zaza's through. Can he even... Oh, didn't really get away from them enough. Uh, it's there through now. As they've scored and... That's not a good start. They've been dominant in this first 10 minutes and they've got away. Ah, not ideal. But let's see if we can get an away goal. <gasps> oh, we've got the away goal straight away. Annoy your own goal from a corner. And now, we, that's a good sign. We can get, we've got a goal against them. That was the important thing. Even if we did concede, we can now afford to concede another. Not that I'd like to, but Neuer has made a hash of that one. Oh, behave, Bayern. Go oh my god. Going forward, they're going to be very, very dangerous this game. And I'm playing a very attacking formation. Um, but i am got to stick with it for now. I'm not sure why Renocchio is so far out position here. But he's tracking the run. But he hasn't stopped it. Bonner clears as, only as far as Lam to Muller. He scored once there already. And we've tackled him. Perlo. Sansoni's actually playing against his former club, funny enough. He, he started at Bayern Munich. Müller here, Santon intercepts, so he's gone back to Müller and... Perlo's given away a penalty, which you don't expect from someone like Perlo. It's really disappointing. I was going to change that to SBN just for the sake of it. No, it should be Sky Sports for Champions League as Perrin gets a fucking end to it. Ah, oh, it's a shame. I'll change it to Sky Sports. And... Bayern Munich back in the driving seat. And I'm not enjoying this game at all. Alonso to Müller to Barbosa. Alonso, don't concede again, not yet. But right, Florenzi to Berardi. Oh, just poor balls. Fuck. Lewandowski now running forward, and that's a wide. And this isn't. I'm not sure what to summarise how it's gone so far. I'm just going to have to watch and hope, you know. There's not really much I can do to tell you the truth. It's Berardi, if he scores there, it changes everything. Alaba. To 
Barbosa, Damien's not in position, Renocchio's got the cover and Florenzi clears it. And they just keep coming. Xavi Martinez, Alonso. Barbosa, Lewandowski hits the post and Bogbonna clears. This is not a fun game to watch. Oh god, Perlo is playing appallingly. I'm going to take him off at half time for Sigurini. If we can get to there without conceding again. Damian knocks it on, only as far as Badstuber, but, but Damian loses it again. A simple pass which should be going to Berardi. And he's been caught out of position again. We need some help for him down that right hand side because we are getting destroyed down there. Berardi, you're going to a wing of support just to track back a little bit, hopefully. And but We're not playing well. A lot of low rated players. Muller, Perrin saves. Oh, I am so nervous for this game. Why are we still seeing this highlight? Christ FM. Barbosa now. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be in too much trouble from that. So let's get into half time. We're doing all right. Um, not playing especially well. Perlo's been appallingly. So we've got to bring in Sigurini. I feel like he has a bit better physicals than Perlo, so he'll be able to cover more ground. I'm going to tell him we have been disappointing just to get him fired up a little bit. And let's hope we can hang on. Thankfully, our defence isn't the lowly rated players, it's their attack, which is being shit but all it takes is one goal for us from a corner <gasps> oh Neuer you are so what a save that was Santon to Berardi oh Bonner we've got the second away goal oh and we are causing this we shouldn't oh this is just horrible because it's giving me hope oh uh... Bonner just volleys it in. You know, corners are doing the damage here today. Florenzi is knackered. Going to have to take him off. But we want to see how this progresses first. As Bonner clears. Barbosa out to Alonso. Get, close him down. Muller. Boateng. Saved. Right. Look at yeah, Florenzi's fitness. He's not doing too great. Oh, usually I bring on Cataldi. He's not there. So it's going to have to be... Christy, Chris, Chris Atig. Oh, I don't really trust, but he, he's got to come on. He's got to do a job for us. And we have to survive 15 more minutes. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Five minutes left. We're going to make a change and go fucking defensive. We're going to go Italian on them. Um, come on. Let's get to the fifth minute. Oh. Oh my god, he scored his 3-2. And that should be it. We should be through in this game. What a free kick by Churchy. Holy cow. We're still going defensive, but wow, what a free kick. And we look like have, we have knocked Bayern Munich out of the Champions League. So we're going to bring on Abate. We're going to push. We're going to put him as um, cover. And we're going to chuck Abate back here. Um, as a fullback support. And we're going <laughs> to do this. Boom. Have an anchor man. Have a defensive midfield on defend. We're going to go defensive. We're going to waste time. And we're going to hope for the best. We don't need to push higher up now either. We're going defensive. We've got to just see this out. We got. We won't. Oh, we wouldn't have thought we can see two goals. No, we haven't. Oh, God, we might. Bono to Muller to Benatia. Tiago bit the post and Perrine saves and it's cleared by Bonner. Alaba. Back in to Martinez. Sigurini clears. Backs against the wall time for us now. Chris Atig clears it. Good man. Lam. Bonner clears it. Doesn't clear it. Santon clears it. Tiago. Alaba. Got to Muller. Saved, but he's offside. We have just knocked out Bayern Munich. What a result, lads. That is unbelievable. Churchy with the goal that did it for us. Absolutely superb. Wow. I did not expect us to get through. And that gives me hope that in the future, well, with this season, we may be able to go on and win this tournament. We may be able to get this goal, this target done with Inter Milan this year you never know when's the draw for the next round we're going to continue to that just so you can see it um yeah i bet you're jubilant 
I didn't know we were even capable of that. Youth candidates this year have been absolutely appalling, but it looks like most of them are getting signed. I can't be bothered to go through that. A little bit of a boost to our finances, which are terrible at the moment. Not sure why. Um, and let's just skip through this. I'm just going to tell him. Phew. <laughs> Save that. Um, he just played in the Champions League, flipping a. At the Allianz Arena, and he's going on oh, more first team football. Like, Chill out, mate. You just you never know. If you, if you kept quiet after the performance there, I might have um, I might have kept you. I might have kept you in the first team squad. But you know, feeling a little bit. You've rubbed me up the wrong way, there, man. You've rubbed me up the wrong way. So a Champions Cup quarter final draw here. Wonder who's left in it. So you've got Barcelona, Dortmund. In us, Juve, Liverpool, PSG, Real Madrid, Benfica. Out of those teams, I guess Benfica are the weakest. So let's, ha let's get the draw on the, on the way. Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid, Benfica, Dortmund, Liverpool, Juventus. And we go to Barcelona. We beat Bayern, so you've got to hope. You've got to hope. Let's see how Barcelona are doing in the league. Are only third, ten points off Atletico. But yep, yeah, it's a big game. That very big game. So that wraps up today's episode. Where we're going to come back, um, looking at the way the league is and the way the um, Champions League is set up, we're going to come back for the Barcelona or what second leg, as we did with this one, and hopefully we can get through to the semi-finals. And then obviously we've got a lot of important games after that. So we'll the episode after that will be Roma, then maybe Juve. And then we'll see what happens from there onwards. But as always, boys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy this button, smash that. If you did enjoy this button, if you did enjoy this episode, smash that like button. And also, if you're new to the channel or if you just haven't done so already, hit the subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll join you again where we invite uh, Barcelona to the San Siro, and hopefully, we can pull off another shock and set, take one more step closer to an all Italian team winning the Serie and the Champions League. Thanks for watching, lads. Oops.